second race I'm bringing you here a down royal and it's a handicap a mirror the mirror chase handicap for horses rated up to 140 Jack Sparrow the top weight for my stable Ignatif Kalanisi James Shea the magician Joshua Sutherland five points Davy Thompson central house for John Morgan word is my bond super Martin Leadham Duchess Lancelot Paul Rhodes what Mavro Davy lad green wizard Craig Beckwith mile picker D French Papillon Poutine Alex Cherry Fiorentus Diamond Paul Rhodes and again the race card has beaten me. I'm almost out of breath trying to go through these race cards. Apologies if I didn't get your horse there. Um, we'll have a look. Ooh, Jack Sparrow almost went down at the first fence there. Awful jump. Took off far too early. And uh, jumping like that off top weight is not going to win you races in this Starters Orders League. So Jack Sparrow, uh, another poor jump there, but not as poor as Papillon Poutine, who is gone and unseated the rider and out the race. And Ignatif Kal Kalanisi's put in some good jumps so far, so that one's moved on into the lead by a couple of lengths to Jack, Jack Sparrow. A few lengths back, you can see the two Paul Rhodes runners, Fiorentus Diamond and Duchess Lancelot, just racing side by side alongside Malpica as they come to the next fence. Really nice jump in the middle of the pack by five points. That caught the eye as they come to the next fence quite quickly. Better jump up front by Jack Sparrow, who's trying to move up and start closing the gap on Ignatif. Kalanisi at the front of the field, but that one's really enjoyed its jumping so far. Looking towards the rear of the field, we've got Cash Cow and Chernick, as well as Palace Pie for Ryan Costello. There are a couple that I missed off the race card at the beginning. A really nice jump by Word Is My Bond Super over on the far side of the track. And uh, what Mavro's jumped quite well so far. That's one of the grey horses. The other one's Central House, who's racing in around fourth or fifth position and nearest the running rail at the moment so Ignatif Kalanisi still has around a three or four length lead as they come to the next fence and a good jump from that one an equally good jump by Jack Sparrow and that allows it to allowed it to close the gap a little bit another length back to Central House better jump again at the front of the field from Ignatif Kalanisi and a really nice jump from Watt Mavro that allowed that to gain a couple of positions in what is quite a bunched pack where we see word is my bond super broad stripes and the magician that one for Joshua Sutherland is uh, racing in just behind the grey horse central house uh, towards the rail Mao Pika's just on the outside of that towards the rear of the field we've got Cash Cow, Green Wizard, Five Points and Chernick and the only one we've lost so far is Papillon Poutine the rest are all still standing as we come into the final six and a half furlong still Ignatif Kalanisi in the lead Watt Mavro a couple of lengths back but making some good progress on the outside in the blue and pink silks there with the yellow hat Mao Pika and Duchess Lancelot in a share of third place and then Central House has moved past Jack Sparrow and Jack Sparrow's treading a bit of water at the moment and is really fading his way back through the field not enjoying himself today Ignatif Kalalisi as we're into the final four and a half furlongs but that gap is really closed now as they go through that undulating part of the course and come to the next fence but a good jump from Ignatif Kalalisi and a really good jump from Mao Pika as well and that one's now in second place and seemingly travelling pretty well look out for the magician for Josh Sutherland that's now moving into uh, fourth place and is about to maybe go into third and is about to lay down a real serious challenge you'd think and what Mavro with a really good jump jumped into the lead there but matched by the magician and that one's gone up alongside it Mao Pika didn't jump as well but has quickly recovered on the flat and now kicks back on into the lead in the final two furlongs broad stripes as I've not mentioned that one too much that stealthily made its way into the race and is now in second place as they come to the next fence really good jump from Mao Pika helped it uh, extend its advantage but Green Wizard is one that jumped its way into the race as well but we're into the final half of Furlong and they're going to have to motor to catch the leader but a really good jump from Green Wizard has allowed it to do so and it's now picked off the leader and Broad Stripes has come as well but can't get to Green Wizard Green Wizard raced from the rear of the field the whole race stealthily made its way through the pack and with two really slick jumps at the final couple of flights was able to get into the lead and stretch clear and win this at a huge price of 66 to 1 for Great Beckwith. Broad Stripes, a really good run. Unlucky not to win there for D. Hooley in second. Mao Pika third for D. French. Fiorentus Diamond fourth. And the magician that made really good progress faded into fifth for Joshua Sutherland.